So you think you found a new love online? Could be, but warning, it could be anything but. We reported last year how romance scammers used my pictures and their deception to perpetrate lies on dating sites and social media. Now we're going to show you how the latest technology is being used. Here's my conversation with Anna Rowe from CatchTheCatfish.com. There is new information out there, though, just brand new information that people are using in these scams, especially the romance scams, uh, using artificial intelligence. Yeah, absolutely. So AI has been around for a while now, but we are just seeing in the last sort of six weeks, uh, the scammers have made use of deep fake technology in this respect. Um, and we've seen an evolution of the old style fake video call, which was a saved video that was played on a laptop while the phone camera was held to it, to this new software where they're able to feed the software with the pictures or videos and voices of the people that they want to scam with. And then on a video call, the victim will actually see that person because the images are transposed onto the face of the scammer. So every single movement that they make, they can make uh, talk, answer questions, exactly the same as you and I are here now. Um, and it would absolutely appear as if that victim is on a video call with you. We um, have several examples of practices happening, but also we have an example of one involving actor Morgan Freeman. And he asks a very interesting question. Isn't the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality. So, Anna, what did, what did we just see there? So what you were seeing there was a demonstration of how exactly the deep fake technology works. So the guy on the bottom of the screen had fed the software with pictures of Morgan Freeman and his voice and the characteristics. Now, the artificial intelligence has taken on those the, the face and the voice and the characteristics of Morgan Freeman. So as the guy at the bottom of the screen moves and talks, the image at the top appears to be Morgan Freeman mimicking exactly what the guy at the bottom is doing. And that's actually what he's saying is very, very true, because if someone feels something as they see it, it's really much more intensified. And you've done so much work with um, yeah. to help people recover. Uh, yeah. from this. So you'll see on some of the other videos now that the um, the scammers are sitting practicing with the technology and you can see them turning their heads mm -hmm. to make the image beside them do exactly the same. And then unfortunately, what I'm now seeing in the last few weeks in the scammer groups is them using that technology with victims. I can always to see you, baby. Yeah, just kind of... So scammers have always, and they will do for quite some time, used things that they call formats, which is like the skeleton of the story that they're going to use with some copy and paste paragraphs that they would, you know, because their English isn't always great. Um, if they do go off script, if you like, and they're using um, their, their own um, education of English, often we would see mistakes in that. Um, I know in the scammer groups, I have seen them being advised to use things like Grammarly, which would correct some of that grammar, but not to the degree that, again, artificial intelligence is now being used with apps like ChatGPT, which are chatbots. I was going to ask um, you, what is ChatGPT? What is that? Exactly? Yeah. So there are chatbots out there that people would know already that is a computer talking, but right. chat GPT is where the scammer can then put questions into it and it will type a very, very human response um, that they can then lift and send to victims. Many more dating sites for elderly. Um, yeah. So we encourage elderly um, anybody, but anyone who's not maybe as tech savvy 
um, as a millennial uh, to educate themselves and to go to your website because catchthecatfish.com has great information um, you have from the start. You continue to, you keep up with it, and you've got the very latest. So um, that's the place to go. Anna, thank you again so much. I Good to talk to you always. Yeah, and you, Andre. It's lovely to speak to you. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.